here is the uh, nuts and bolts. That plate was holding onto the distributor body and I've given it all a good wash in paraffin. This is the distributor. Firstly, I want to undo two Phillips screws like that. A chubby Phillips screwdriver is best. This lead, earth this whole base plate, which will now lift off. Which I hasten to add uh, is one item which doesn't pull apart like I thought it did earlier. That carries the capacitor and the points, all familiar. And also there's a pin at the back there which the vacuum mechanism hooks onto it. So you need to waggle that spring off pin. Also I'm taking this screw out in the middle because I'm getting this apart to find out why it's so worn. Now the play in this particular distributor is between the cam and the shaft. The shaft unfortunately will not come apart because I think this pin here will not extract. I don't want to try too hard but it's being quite difficult. And, and it's bearing in this shaft which apparently goes and some people can replace with ball bearing races. But oil going down there, getting past the screw head, seems to be the way to prevent distributor wear. The oil will go down the shaft, lubricate the weight mechanism, and hopefully that part of a shaft as well. I've removed this part by carefully teasing off the springs, one's bigger than the other, and Again, mental note, how things go back together when reassembling. And see how when the mass of this weight um, is flung outwards by rotation, this flat edge here um, presses up against this curved piece of metal here and this hole is uh, rotated anti-clockwise that effectively um, the hole goes onto these pins which rotates the cam and that's how the mechanical ignition Advanced works to show you what happens when the engine spins down. It is like that. It's back in. This Jupiter number three here, same casting 25D, came off an engine with six cylinders. No idea what it was off. I don't even think the ACO's engine did have six cylinders. But this is even newer, it's less worn. Even though there are metric threads on the base plate here, um, fits straight on to there. And likewise, the Morris Minor 4 valve cam fits nicely on there. So this distributor is going back in my car. Less wear means uh, less wandering sparks. The weights are of course quite different, so we can get rid of those. The springs on the six-sided cam are also for a different engine entirely. I'm not going to use that base plate because it's metric, but I'm pretty sure that this is exactly the same as the Morris Minor inside. So uh, 
that's going to be my new distributor once I've transferred the gubbins across. Hope this has been useful for you.